An 18-year-old athlete suffering cardiac arrest? What's really going on? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about LeBron James Jr., also known as Bronny James, suffering a cardiac arrest during a workout for the University of Southern California, USC, where he's going to attend college before going to the NBA, most likely next year in 2024 where he'll probably play alongside his father, LeBron James. Now, as of right now, he is okay. And when I say that, I mean that he is not deceased. He is not in critical condition. He is in stable condition. I don't know if he's in a hospital still, but at one point he was in the ICU. He's no longer there, and he is in stable condition. Now, let's back up a little bit to explain what's going on and how we've gotten here today, how a healthy 18-year-old young man wound up having cardiac arrest. Now, this is still developing, so we don't have a lot of information. It was held under wraps because it happened yesterday in the morning, and we're just now finding out about it about 24 hours later. So, obviously, if you're LeBron James, you have plenty of resources and whatnot to keep things like this under wraps. But here are the details that we have so far. This is over on TMZ. You see the headline, Bronny James suffers cardiac arrest during USC workout. And that is Bronny right there, 18 years old, young man. Okay, a professional, well, soon to be professional athlete, basketball player, been playing basketball for a long time. His father, obviously, is LeBron James. And we're talking about a man who is 38 or 39 years old in peak physical condition, still playing in the NBA. So, obviously, he takes fitness very seriously. Obviously, there's some good genetics going on here. So why would somebody 18 years old have a cardiac arrest during a workout? Let's just, we'll, we'll talk about it. Let's read some of this article right here. There you see LeBron and his boy when he was younger. All right, let's, let's read some of this here. So LeBron James' son, Bronny, was rushed to a hospital after suffering cardiac arrest during a basketball workout. TMZ Sports has learned. A James family spokesperson tells TMZ Sports yesterday while practicing, Bronny James suffered a cardiac arrest. Medical staff was able to treat Bronny and take him to the hospital. He is now in stable condition and no longer in ICU. We ask for respect and privacy for the James family, and we will update media when there is more information. All right. The spokesperson continues. LeBron and Savannah, that's his wife, obviously, since high school. Shout out to LeBron for being married to the same woman for a long time, but that's a different story. And I move on. LeBron and Savannah wish to publicly send their deepest thanks and appreciation to the USC medical staff and athletic staff for their incredible work and dedication to the safety of their athletes. Sources with direct knowledge tell TMZ Sports a 911 call was made at 926 a.m. Monday. So again, this is about 24 hours later on Tuesday. So it was made 926 a.m. local time Monday from USC's Galen Center for the venue where the team plays and practices, and the 18-year-old Hooper, who was unconscious, was taken by ambulance to the hospital. So I was hearing about this and reading about this before everything, you know, um, came out to the media or, or before this story I saw. And they said that there was lights and sirens. So this was a very serious thing. It wasn't just, okay, he had a little bit of a, a, a incident and they wanted to take him for testing. No, he needed immediate medical attention, lights and sirens in the ambulance. And that is Bronny right there over in the red suit. That's his um, younger brother, Bryce. Obviously there's LeBron, Savannah, and then their daughter. I forget her name. Y'all know, let me know in the comments below. Our sources say it was a code three, meaning the ambulance lights and sirens, which signifies the seriousness of the emergency. Bronny is a rising talent in the sport. He recently committed to the Trojans, USC, and is expected to end up in the NBA. Yeah, they said most likely next year because you got the whole one and done rule, meaning you got to be at least one year out of high school to become eligible for the NBA draft. And I think also age 19. If that's wrong, let me know in the comments. But the one and done rule means you can go overseas, play some of pro or go to college and then go to the league. I think they should do away with that. Let these kids go straight to the pros out of high school. The same thing that I believe LeBron James did. All right. 
So Bronny was a McDonald's All American. You know, that's like the high school um, all star. Uh, the 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 best stars from high schools around the country playing this game, like the NBA All Star game. Anyway, he was a McDonald's All American during his high school senior season, and LeBron has expressed his desire to play alongside his son in the league. Bronny also followed in his dad's footsteps and competed in the slam dunk competition at the high school showcase in March. Now, I've watched the McDonald's All American game with Bronny. Bronny's more of a slasher guard. Um, he's not as tall as his father. He looks like a pretty good player, though. You know, good shooter. I think he'll be, he'll do well in the league, but I'm not quite sure he'll be on his father's level. I think maybe his younger brother, Bryce, might be like his father, but that's a different story. Anyway, so there's just more about LeBron's son and LeBron and everything. And I will link to this article in the description. But we got to start asking some questions like, okay, what's really going on here? Can we can we talk about that? Can we talk about what's really going on? Because I've seen quite a few things over the past few days, weeks, months, ever since a certain thing got brought out to the public. There's been people having cardiac arrest, passing out for no reason, randomly. You're talking about young men, athletic, healthy, not obese, not having any kind of problems you could see on the outside, no history of any kind of medical problems, highly trained athletes just passing out, boom, on the ground. And again, you got to ask yourself why. Now, here's something. Newcastle football great Shaka Hislop collapsed before the AC Milan versus Real Madrid football match at the Rose Bowl. All right. Now, you see what's going on here. I don't have the sound on, but you already see he just collapsed right there. So he's he's just talking, and then you see him start to, to, to wobble, and then all of a sudden, he just falls on the ground. Now, I don't know if this man is okay or not. I, I hope he's okay. But clearly, he just collapsed right there on the ground. And you got to ask yourself, what's going on? Again, there's something that came out recently, a thing that was rolled out to the public. And I'm not quite sure that this thing was vetted properly or tested properly. And now we have a bunch of cardiac arrests. Um, I always tell this story. I'm going to come back so you can see me clearly a little bit. I always tell this story about my doctor. He was in the Navy. And he said he had to leave the Navy because he was getting tired of seeing young, healthy, 18-year-old men, young men who can run, jump, swim, whatever, physically fit, not fat, not obese, not having any kind of prior medical conditions. He was tired of seeing them come into the Navy, perfectly healthy, no problems. And then after they get a certain thing that is mandated by the military, two weeks later, they're in the hospital with heart problems. He got tired of seeing it. So it was like, you know what? I got to get out of here. I have to get out. Now, I'm not saying that what happened to Bronny is because of that particular thing that we know about that shall not be named on the whole YouTube situation. So can nobody flag me and say that I did say it, but I digress. Point is, I'm not saying that Bronny has that or got that, but I'm just saying, I mean, there's too many coincidences for it to all be a coincidence. Here's another video. Um, this is 28-year-old Bellator MMA fighter Chris Lencioni. He had a cardiac arrest, and he collapsed while training. It, is, it reminds me of Bronny collapsing while practicing. Now, I don't know if it was a full practice, you know, five-on-five, five, whatever, or what's going on. If he was doing drills, I have no idea what was happening, but this is, Again, we're talking about an MMA fighter, guys that are physically fit, obviously not obese, young man, prime of his life, a fighter, and now clearly he's had um, probably a traumatic brain injury, brain damage or something like that, and he has a long road to recovery, okay? So you see what it says right here. He collapsed at a gym while training, and they ended up in a coma with brain damage. So what is, what is going on? Why are we seeing so much of this? Now, I'm not trying to say... That before the particular thing that happened or the thing that was released to the public, I'm not trying to say there was no such thing as cardiac arrest and there was no such thing as brain damage. I'm not trying to say that. But what I am asking is what's going on? Why are we seeing so much of it in perfectly healthy young men, athletes, guys that train for a living, not only in young men, but young women as well, uh, basketball players, uh, soccer 
tennis, hockey, you name it. You're seeing this all over the place with young people. This shouldn't be the case. You see people that get up in age have cardiac arrest, heart problems, heart failure, or those who are obese. You put in a bunch of weight on your organs. You clogging your organs up. You get, you know, some blockages in your artery. That makes sense to have cardiac arrest when that's going on. But when you're a highly trained athlete, a machine, a fighter, you take care of yourself, you invest into your body, you eat the right thing, do the right thing, and all of a sudden you have cardiac arrest and get brain damage, you got to ask yourself, what is going on? What is the common denominator between all these cases? But as I close, I want to say this. Hopefully, Bronny gets well and makes a full and complete recovery. I don't know his exact condition. They said that he was in the ICU at first, and now he's stable. But I don't know what that means. Is he at home, in the hospital? What is his condition? Whatever it is, hopefully he's able to make a full and complete recovery. And to all those who have been injured, maybe as of late, who have had cardiac arrest, brain damage, or whatever because of a particular thing, perhaps, hopefully you all get well as well. And let it be a warning. If you're thinking about doing certain things to your body or getting certain things to help yourself protect against certain illnesses that are out there, you might want to think twice because I think there may be a few side effects that aren't so beneficial. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your opinion about what's happening here with Bronny James and others who have just passed out cardiac arrest? What is your opinion about what's happening? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I think there's something going on here. Why would an 18-year-old young man, he just graduated high school, this is nothing, nothing but a boy. Why would somebody that's so young and athletic, an athlete who is probably going to be in the NBA, why would a guy like that with LeBron James as your father? Of course, LeBron spends $1.5 million a year on maintaining his body. Somebody who is so health conscious, why would you be 18 years old and have a cardiac arrest? Could there be some kind of genetic situation? I, perhaps, but I've never heard about LeBron having any kind of problems like that or his wife, Savannah. So, I, I mean, what's going on? That is the million dollar question. But whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.